Forex. Stocks. Futures. Trade Miner 5.0 Picks of the Week. Hey Forex Militia, Parcival here, going over the trade miner picks of the weeks with, with Forex, Stocks and Futures. And we basically are starting off with, this is pretty much starting off with Forex, but there's a 2-4 between Forex and Futures. And we have the Pound Yen starting on July the 31st. To August 20 and there's an 88% win chance so uh, over the last uh, eight years this is an, an, an eight year statistic get an 88% chance and then for the stock we have Microsoft which is from July 28th to August 30th with an 80% chance the probability is low okay it's bullish but we'll see because usually what happens in August is that um, it's the bad it's the worst month in the year usually for stocks for uh, uh, what you call it for uh, Forex so we are basically going to see what that because 10 years and 10 years check it out 10 years in a row, you have an 80% chance for Microsoft to basically gain. So that's that's something, 80% chance. All right, and in futures, we're going with the currency theme, we're going bullish the yen. Now the reason we're going bullish with the yen is because this is a safe haven currency, and usually in this month, in this next month, in August, uh, people will be basically fleeing the markets because of the the three pack of August, September, and October being basically bearish months. So the the, uh, the yen, the the Swissy, and the dollar might actually look very very attractive to people leaving the the more the the risk on. Uh, uh, situation uh, the risk on environment so let's go to the charts and basically take a look at what is going on so for the pound yen here we have it this is very bearish right it looks bearish. I'm, I'm sorry. It looks bearish, right? But what what's happening here is uh, I, I have my moving averages on here, and the pound yen is actually above the uh, right is a, is above the trend lines. So what I'm looking to basically do is um, I have this actually wrong. Let's change the color. It's bearish. So from here, I can actually take the position going short, starting out uh, a little bit before this zone. And what could possibly happen is when it actually gets into the zone in August, it could it could fall further. I got a signal from my uh, indicator that this should actually fall. So I can actually take this trade short, um, possibly down, just probably down to the 200. I'll, I'll basically see about putting that on on Monday, Sunday, Monday, and then on the stock bullish. All right. Um, this is the, right now it's short um, 
after earnings I need to see what what earnings basically is and then what I could possibly do is take this long going up into this 200 10 years of uh, uh, statistics of history that's that's a pretty decent call okay I, I would basically be trading against the uh, trend so I'll, I'll have to be very careful with that one and this once again trading against the trend is the yen right and we'll be trading that long I didn't put that on here I did but let me see put it on this one so let's just find it over here J there we go there we go and as you can see this is short it's it's been short because the dollar has been on a tear and so has uh, and and so it's been falling 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 as the dollar yen has been going 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 right which is the opposite it's, it's been going but basically uh, opposite of that so we are basically looking for this to fall and for the yen to gain 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 all right so we could possibly take that position right now and watch to see if it actually trades up into the 200 okay that would be a counter trend trade and interestingly enough as you can see here on my indicator the statistic that there is divergence okay so let's go over to the review part of this and doing all right with my account right i'm up to uh 138 139 it was up to 140. Uh, i told you earlier that i took a, a on, on my last video that i took a trade in gold and that trade in gold is 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 counter trend it's 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 it was uh bullish divergence so i took that trade and uh, i it went up to like 140 so i'm up to 139 138 in that area and let's see i had a trade on for the uh let's see let's see if i can uh right there you go the pound aussie i didn't i, I might have to start put these putting these in there okay so the pound aussie and that basically went well because i took a profit of 1300 and 1800 this was uh take profit one this was take profit two let me see if that'll actually come up all right i have to pull that out over here no you know what i'm gonna i did it on trading view so i'll basically just let you see from here what it actually looked like also if you if you guys would like please follow me on trading view and you can pick up some of my calls uh, when I basically put up put out calls and please give me a like give me a boost over here if, if you could all right so that basically is the trade um, and it went very well right trigger right? and close other half of my position I, it didn't go all the way to here but I did take it at uh, at structure highs or structure lows I mean I took it at structure lows so I took that and it popped off and it went very very nicely and as you can see in the market cycle everything it went very nicely uh, the setup happened a little bit before the market cycle and it basically closed a little bit outside so that was fantastic all right and then with uh, i took a trade on i don't think this was yeah the pound the, the euro pound let's see yes the euro pound here which had 80 percent and that went well because i took about 430 and then uh, I, I came out because of the ECB. I didn't know what they were basically going to do. 
So I came out and then I, I raised it up to uh, to break even plus about a couple of pits and as you can see 50 and then I, it was extremely volatile and it closed me out. So I took a small amount and I, I took a gain on that one. So pretty much that is pretty much it. Um, wait, let me let me just let me see, right? And I I did not take the trade on Merc. I don't believe I took that trade. It did not set up properly. And the Nasdaq 100 is coming the 29th. Let me see. Merc is was on the 26th. That's actually this coming week and it is bullish so I'll look to see if I can get in on that one and this is the Nasdaq 100 all right and this that's oh that's okay all right so let me quickly take a look at what's what's going on over there on Merck and on the Nasdaq really quick because this video is I don't want it to go on too long all right so Merck is trying to set up and as you can see it's inside this zone because this is an old old trade but on the 26th uh oh it's coming there's there's an uh, an earnings so any trade that I would take would most likely come after this date so I would most likely go long after the 28th and I believe that said the 26th so okay and on the Nasdaq on the futures NASDAQ 100 let's do this uh, there you go we have this going long here but we shall see because it's going into August so the interesting thing is the trade that is on Microsoft has this going long has has it going long going into August so if that is true then this nasdaq which which the mic which microsoft is a part of will also go long so we'll wait and see what actually happens there and so with that coming to the end of another trade miner pick 5.0 picks of the week i will say knowledge is power be power hungry and power to the people Please like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Leave me a comment, ask me any questions. And this is Parsable, signing out.